A developing story tonight. You'll remember these searchers found Dylan Redwine's remains outside Durango last year. The 13 year old's family still wants the person who killed him caught. Jacqueline Allen live tonight. You've learned at the start of rifle season, hunters are being asked for help finding clues. That's right, Eric. Now Dylan Redwine's family is sending out this flyer, hoping that sending out pictures of things like his Blue Devil's cap and his old, older model Verizon flip phone could bring in the clues that could help crack this case. But more importantly, they want to remind people about what happened to this boy. For Corey Redwine, attention hunters and outdoor enthusiasts, this flyer is about more than trying to find his little brother's belongings, the backpack and the hat and the phone. It's about finding justice. I just you know, I want to keep uh, Dylan's story and Dylan's um, heart, you know, and everybody's, um, you know, in the front of everybody's mind. Nearly two years after Dylan disappeared, his memory is everywhere here at his older brother's home near Colorado Springs, from photos to keychains. Anytime I can find something with his name spelled correctly, <laughs> and that reminds me of him, I try to pick it up. 13-year-old Dylan disappeared during a court-ordered visit to his father, Mark, who lives outside Durango and was in a heated custody battle with the boy's mother. But police have never named Mark as a suspect or anyone else. Corey was one of the searchers who found only 2% of his little brother's remains last summer. Do you think that police and law enforcement will ever be able to prove who did this? I think at one point, yes. He hasn't given up hope and says he'll fight to make sure everyone remembers his brother and keeps searching for justice. Even when I'm 80 years old, you know, I don't think this pain will ever go away. It's, you realize how much you love people when they're gone. And I did speak to the La Plata County Sheriff's Office tonight. They tell me this is still a very active investigation and they're moving forward. Now, he wouldn't say exactly what that means, but he did say they will always take any leads or tips in this case. Reporting live, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News.